we are interested in general in what we call regenerative medicine. So trying to, uh, if there is any injury in skeletal muscles, in bones, and we moved also to the heart 10 years ago, and we are trying to see how the laser therapy can enhance the recovery of a tissue that has been either injured or uh, injured by a lack of blood supply or other things and the changes that uh, we see in the tissue when we treat the animals with the low energy lasers are real, are st what we call statistically significant. Okay, so that's the first thing. So we see that we can affect the processes. We can enhance the, the regenerative process in skeletal muscles, in bone after injury, and uh, recently, as I said, we have been doing this after we induce heart attack in animals. And when we apply the laser, then we see much less scarring after a heart attack. There is much better function of the heart after the laser therapy. The other fact that we have seen also that this is safe. So when we shine with the laser on a normal tissue, or we shine either on an injured tissue, we don't see any side effect that are noticeable even over time from this technology. Uh, and again, it depends of course on the, on the energy, but the energy that we are using is more or less the energy also that Meditech is using it. We are not talking of overdosing and heating up uh, a tissue. So the, as I said, it's, it's safe according to what we see in animals. It has eff its efficacy, uh, what we see from animals. Of course, I cannot right now say that this is good for any indication in humans because I haven't been, haven't been treating humans. But what we see from our uh, research is that we have been treating uh, mice and, and dogs and rats and even pigs, the porcine model, that in all of them we see the beneficial effect and we see the dosing of the laser therapy. So this now can be extrapolated to humans. It gives us a good basis to believe that there will be something uh, good when we move to humans.